You have one chance to watch this video. You have one chance to play this game. This is One Chance by Awkward Silence Games. I just clicked play already. In six days, every living cell on planet Earth will be dead. We have one chance. It's not kidding. You have one chance. This game does not allow you to replay the game. Ever. Also, you control with the arrow keys. This is an extremely arty game. Which, unfortunately, also kind of amounts to walking to the right. The game. I'm not sure how long I'm going to talk like this. Cancer has been cured. As you can see, John Pilgrim over there, it's cured cancer. And it's just a cure. It was implied that it's a virus, but you'll see the plot. Anyway, this is John Pilgrim vs. The World. The game. Subtitle, Walking Right. And I love that you can only, you can't go back in the car. The car is sort of silly. It, that should really just be a cinematic, but I'm not really sure why these arty games make you constantly walk right. Well, if it isn't the fucking savior, I'm, I'm smoking here. I'm badass. Congratulations, John. This is a big step. <sighs> yeah, eliminating cancer. That's sort of big, I guess. If you're like that. We should go out for a drink to celebrate, John. Screw you, hussy. I mean, not literally. Hey, buddy. No talking. Whatever. That's over here. Good work, Doc. You're gonna be huge. I am. Actually, I'm the same height as everyone else. Sorry, bro. No entry today. Well, that sucks. I wanted to jump off the building. Foreshadowing. Let's go to work. Um, we got an X on the computer screen. That's how science works! Yay. In five days, every living cell on planet Earth will be dead. You have one chance. So get out of bed and leave your frickin' lab coat on the floor. Like a slob. Gosh! Hey Molly, what's going on? This is my daughter, I don't think I saw you before. Mum's in the bath. We're apparently British. Which is unfortunate, yes, because I haven't been using a British accent. I can't really do one. The phone's been ringing all day. Well, we don't appear to have a phone, so let's go to work. The cure is deadly, how oh dare! The cancer cure is killing our faces. It's murdering everything. The gas-based drug was ever used. It's already been used. Anyway, uh, this it's implied the functionality of this thing is a virus. A, a gas really couldn't kill everything on Earth unless you could somehow fill the entire Earth's atmosphere fairly densely with something deadly. Even then, crap would survive. You really can't kill everything on Earth unless you vaporize the whole thing. We're fucked, John. The drug is dangerous and we're gonna get our funding pulled. I'm not sure what this chart is supposed to indicate. Like, if it's like death rates, it should be going up. And if it's... Maybe it's like purchases and like it's going down. I don't know. Anyway. We're screwed. And those guys aren't very chatty today. It's not really dangerous as they say it is, is it, Doc? I already did that voice. Stop, stop stealing people's voices, voice stealer. Gosh. Let's see what's going on with these people. Okay. Hey, buddy. What's going on? It's some nice fresh air out here. John, what have we done? <laughs> and the dust a thousand times. It's so much worse than we thought. I'm going to change everything. Oh, snap. Well, John is dead. There's the president. In four days, every single living cell on planet Earth will be dead. You have one chance. Do you really have to go in today? I, 
I may have screwed up the game already. Um, I kind of assumed you're supposed to go to work the whole time. Why do I have to go to school today? I didn't figure if you you press spacebar to interact with stir with crap. And there's politicians being, you know, hyperbolic as always. We don't care about your opinions, President. You don't even have a name. President isn't a name. It's a noun. Freak. Protesters, yay. Let's run them over. Oh dear, we can't. Oh well. But yeah, I was expecting that, you know, you had to press spacebar to do the event that ends your day. Hey look, the chart fell over. Everyone left. Bunch of slackers, they are. My mouse was in the shot. I'm I'm not sure if we can beat the game anymore, but whatever. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go to work all the time. So let's see if anyone's on the roof today, and let's see if we can screw up the game further. Don't worry, John. I'm not going to jump. Although I don't suppose it matters now. Go home and be with your family, John. Well, you know what? I'm going to beat this virus. I've got a kind of scruffy voice. And I'm... Hey! You forced my decision, butthole. Oh, wait. There we go. No, I'm working. Check that X out. That is one fine X. Maybe it's DNA. I don't know. In three days, every living cell on planet Earth will be dead. You have one chance. Really? Just one? Frickin' slob throwing all his crap around? Just because the world is ending doesn't mean you don't have personal responsibility. Okay? And look, now, look what an example you've set for your frickin' daughter. She's just laying in bed, throwing her crap on the floor. What's your problem, dude? Gosh. 50% of the world will be dead. Bruh. This, this sentence here is sort of odd, anyway. The first one. Um... But yeah, we're all dying, blah blah blah. Oh hey, what? Were they there before? <laughs> I did not notice them. We can be on to something. Oh, if we understand you, if you want to be with your family. Nah, let's try and save the human race. My family's a bunch of lazy slobs anyway, I don't care if they live. Jeez. Hey, you glad you can make it. You know, since this could be our last day on Earth, I've been meaning to ask you something. Do you maybe want to get out of here? No. No, I don't. I'm John A. Some I'm John Pilgrim versus the world. Let's not go on the roof. The roof has led me astray. I'll probably get a game over because of that. <laughs> Snacks! No! We're driving home. It's oddly silent. Oh, creepy music is starting. Oh, snap blood. Who spilled Kool-Aid all over the floor? Oh, now you're bathing in Kool-Aid? We don't have the money for this. Freaking whatever my wife's name is. Wasting all of our Kool-Aid. In two days, every living cell on the earth will be dead, and we don't have any more Kool-Aid. God damn it. We have one chance to get more Kool-Aid. Hey, Molly. Let's get some Kool-Aid. Freaking thirsty. Where's mommy, daddy? Aww. Here's mommy. This is all the Kool-Aid she spilled everywhere. Gosh. So cute that she like hangs on your shoulder. Hey, no newspaper? Freaking lazy paper boy. Screw him. Bet he has Kool-Aid. Freaking leaving your car in the middle of the road. How freaking rude. Let's take Molly to work. Let's show her that chart. Let's show her that when you make a chart, you're supposed to label your axes. Assholes. Sorry. You know what? It's too late. You didn't label your axes. It's over. There are dead people. This is what happens when you don't label your frickin' charts. Let's walk around this chick's head. She also spilled Kool-Aid. We don't care for people that spill Kool-Aid, okay? You just play with that ball of Kool-Aid, Molly. Today, 
Every single living cell on planet Earth will die. You had one chance. You disgust me with your spilling Kool-Aid ways. And that we're really slow and we're missing a sock for some reason. Because God damn it, without Kool-Aid, it's just not worth living anymore. Let's go, Molly. It's time to end this. A world without Kool-Aid is not a world worth living in. So let's go to work or something. Why did... Someone took that car away, apparently. You know, just because the world is ending doesn't mean laws aren't enforced. Let's go to work, Molly. No time for slouching around, Molly. Those axes aren't gonna label themselves, okay? Stupid mouse. Yeah, you're still sorry. You know what? I don't care. Also, who cleaned the bodies out of here? Our janitorial staff is awesome. Oh, they're still here. Never mind. We should fire those jerks. Gosh, let's go back to work. OMG! We got a check mark. And we stabbed ourselves with something. I love stabbing myself with things. Oh wow, we are instantly okay. Except our sock is still missing. Let's stab our daughter. Yay! It's snowing. <laughs> There's no more Kool-Aid. <laughs> it's all gone. The Kool-Aid is all gone. Also, if every living cell on Earth were dead, those trees wouldn't be there. This is not scientifically accurate. And it's out of Kool-Aid. I just don't know what to do. Yeah, I can't control anything anymore. This is the end. I'm kind of surprised I got the good end. I figured you had to go to work every day and you couldn't not go to work. But yeah, this music reminds me of uh, me and my dinosaur. Anyway, that was one chance. You can play it on new grounds, but you really only have one chance. Unless you want to, you can just clear your flash um, cookies and stuff, but I don't want to do that because it will lose all my progress in other flash games. And there's like one of them that I want to keep, so. Anyway, we had one chance. And we were scruffy bearded enough to be badass and survive. But we apparently didn't see any other people because we were pissed off about Kool-Aid. Because that's what's really mattering here. Molly agrees.